Hi everyone, happy belated Earth Day. As we know, our planet is facing major conservation challenges from threats like climate change, deforestation, overfishing, and illegal wildlife trade. Human impact on the planet primarily comes from what we eat, what we buy, how we power our homes, and how we travel from place to place. Today, I want to take part in making the world a cleaner, more sustainable place. Earth Day officially took place on April 22nd, but remember that every day should be treated as Earth Day. Some scientists say that we only have 12 years to save the planet. It's possible, but it's going to take a lot of work from everyone here on this Earth. In my description box, I linked several websites where you can submit a pledge on how you plan to do your part in saving the world. For today's video, I want to show you how I'm celebrating Earth Day and share a few ways that you can help save our planet too. Let us begin. One of the many ways we can contribute to helping sustain our Earth is by changing how we eat. About two months ago, I made a video where I tried eating vegan for a week. Hey guys, welcome back. Although it was very eye-opening and rewarding to say the least, a 100% vegan lifestyle is something I haven't been able to master yet. However, I always make it a point to have at least one to two vegan meals a day. Many people think eating vegan is unrealistic, but there are many restaurants that have vegan options. Yes, even fast food places. I've mentioned in a few videos that I am in love with the Beyond Famous Star. It's one of my favorite go-to vegan options. But recently, Del Taco came out with the new Beyond Avocado Taco. And of course, I had to try it. So I'm about to try Del Taco's new Beyond Avocado Taco. Can I have two Beyond Avocado Tacos? The meat is like seasoned a special way and it tastes really, really good. Restaurants are making it that much easier for the consumer to sustain a healthy vegan lifestyle. As I've mentioned before, I'm not fully vegan, but I do try to eat like one. I think the idea of never being able to eat meat scares people, but what they don't realize is they can still eat meat if they want to. Yes, there's nothing better than a pure vegan diet, but ease into it. Change doesn't happen immediately. Eat as clean as possible and your planet will thank you for it. If you didn't know, I don't know like all the details, but plants, planting flowers, planting any type of plants is really good for the environment. About 10 days ago exactly, we planted this gray stripe sunflower. We think that the reason why it's like tilted over is because the little seed that it sprouted from is kind of heavy, so it's weighing it down a little bit. I don't think that it's wilting or dying. This is my first plant that I've ever planted before, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a first timer. Hopefully, we're doing things right. Today, I wanted to plant two more sunflowers. I got this off of Amazon. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. This kit was like $21, super cheap and a fun activity to do. So if we open the box, it comes with literally all the materials that you need, which is perfect. So it comes with these little pots and it came with three sets of seeds. And these are the two that we're gonna be planting today, which is the teddy bear sunflower and the autumn beauty sunflower. So as you can see, I already took all the seeds out of the packages. I chose two seeds from each packet to then soak in some warm water. They've been soaking for like, I want to say 30 minutes now. And I put the rest in a Ziploc bag in the fridge. Each seed starter kit comes with a little instruction manual and it tells you how long it takes for the plants to germinate and all these cool kinds of tips. To start this process, I had to get a container and place one peat soil disc inside it. The soil discs expand faster when they're in contact with hot water. So here, I'm just repeatedly pouring water on the soil, letting it expand, and breaking it apart once it gets soft. Going back to what I said earlier about planting flowers being eco-friendly, Flowers appear on plants, which themselves are beneficial to our environment. Plants produce much of the oxygen in our atmosphere through the process of photosynthesis. During the cycle of photosynthesis, plants absorb carbon dioxide from the air through their leaves. Then, using sunlight, water, and minerals from the soil, plants absorb nutrients and release oxygen into the air as a byproduct. Studies have routinely found that with an increase in number of plants comes improvement in air quality. So planting trees, bushes, and flowers is a great way to help make the environment a better place. After filling the pot with the soil, we then gently placed our seeds on top and tucked them in gently with about an inch of soil. 
It's actually been exactly three days since I've planted this autumn beauty flower and both seeds are starting to sprout. <sighs> they grow up so fast. And for the teddy bear sunflower, we repeated the exact same process. Overall, this was a super fun and easy activity to do by yourself or with friends and family. This is not sponsored, but I highly recommend that you check out Nature's Blossom Kits on Amazon. They have a variety of plants to choose from, so plant away, my friends, and see what you can grow. To reduce energy consumption in your home, you don't necessarily need to go out and purchase energy efficient products. Energy conservation can be as simple as turning off lights or appliances when you don't need them. Just remember, when you're done using something, unplug or flick the switch. Did you know that every piece of plastic ever made still exists somewhere? To put that in context, if Leonardo da Vinci had drunk water from a plastic bottle when he was painting the Mona Lisa, that bottle would not have fully decomposed yet. Plastics are petroleum based and do not biodegrade. This means that it will not break down over time. Instead, it will sit in a landfill where it will either be buried or it'll find a way into our oceans. All that being said, it is crucial that we as humans learn to reduce the use of single-use plastics and plastics in general. Here are a few ways to help. Number one, carry a reusable bag. A single plastic bag can take a thousand years to degrade. Purchase or make your own reusable produce bag and be sure to take them with you every time you grocery shop. Number two, say no to plastic straws. Even in restaurants, if a straw is a must for you, purchase a reusable stainless steel or glass straw. By using a reusable straw, you can save 540 plastic straws from entering the ocean this year. Pro tip, if you're at a restaurant and you order a drink, do not get a straw. Number three, invest in a reusable bottle or mug for your beverages. Simply switching to a reusable water bottle saves on average 167 plastic bottles in one year. Americans use over 2.5 million plastic bottles every hour, and only about 27 of those are recycled. This past year, I started carrying a reusable water bottle with me everywhere I go, and it has done nothing but benefit me. By carrying it around, it reminds me to drink more water and helps me say no to plastic water bottles. Number four, if it's plastic, think twice. Like most everything else, the easiest way to reduce your dependence on single-use plastic is to just stop and think about it. Ask yourself if it's necessary. Little changes really do add up, so do your best every day to be conscious with your shopping, consumption, and disposal. In addition to cutting down or eliminating the plastic waste we create, we all need to participate in cleaning up. I spent part of my Easter Sunday at the park and families everywhere left their trash and plastic water bottles all over the ground. The one thing that we can do as humans is clean up after ourselves. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say because you know what it is, sweetie. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you don't know what's good, then we got a problem, homie. We really got a problem. I'm about to up in this mic. I'm really about to, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna come for you. I'm gonna reach through the screen and I'm gonna smack you in your head. Clean up after yourself, okay? I love you. You just, you just not thinking right, all right? Just use your head, use your head, please. If it wasn't attached to you, you'd lose it. Of course, there are many other ways to help saving the planet, like not buying products with palm oil, not littering, driving less, taking shorter showers, and pressuring companies to be more eco-friendly. But I'll leave those up to you guys to do your research. This is the only home we have. Respect it before it's too late. Sign petitions or join marches and protests. Stream Earth by Little Dicky. Watch educational documentaries on Netflix like Our Planet, Blackfish, Blue Planet, and Planet Earth. Also be sure to check out all the links I've listed down below in my description box for more information. Be good humans, you guys. Be kind to our planet. As always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.